Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. We're back with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys me building my first cryptocurrency mining setup. I bought a few things for that. Um, the last piece, the actual miners itself, came last night in the mail, so I'm so excited that I can finally make this video. But let's jump right in. After the intro, I'll show you all the parts and devices I bought. After that, I'll show you how I set them up, and then we'll jump into the computer itself and see how the crypting software and mining itself works. I'll probably start off with mining Litecoin because these are script algorithm miners so they can do stuff like Litecoin, Dogecoin and all of those. But yeah, let's see you after the intro. Okay, now the first things we'll be checking out is the computer. For this I chose my Raspberry Pi 3B+, I also did a checking out video about it. But basically I chose this because, I mean, it's a pretty inexpensive computer with only $30. And on top of that, I don't plan to do anything else with the device I would have to attach to this miner. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. And also, I don't know if it breaks, overheats or something happens. It's not really that dramatic. But I did buy it with a kit, also with the heatsink expansion, all of that. So the CPU and stuff is... A little bit better cooled because I do plan on running these pretty often after I've set everything up maybe like 12 hours a day or something like that but yeah so this is gonna be the first place let's put it over here the next thing no what are we gonna go with let's go with the miners ah. so I just opened this a few minutes ago just want to check that everything is that all of them are in here but what I did I went ahead and bought six Moonlander 2 by Futurebit. They are USB miners that, like I said, can do the script algorithm. Also, they can, let's see, they can mine up to five hashes. So that's not too bad for getting started with it. The reason I like didn't buy a really big one is because I wanted to like ease myself into it and maybe mine a few different things and compare the difference. That's why I got a few of them so you can run different settings and see how they compare. These will run you at around 60 bucks per miner. Let's look inside what we got here. Let me actually move those over here. Oh wow, okay. Pretty simple packaging. All you have the box and here is your miner. There we go, the future bit Moonlander 2. So it comes with a fan. There was and there's an also um another USB miner that's really popular that people use for Bitcoin and other stuff. But that one doesn't come with a fan and stuff like that. And I wasn't really a fan of the whole concept of that one either, because I'd rather wanna mine these types of coins than something like Bitcoin. So I went ahead with these ones and got six of them. I don't think we need to unbox all six of them, so let's put them here. And then the final thing is, of course, the USB hub. Now, this was a little difficult for me to do uh, to find out which one to buy because you can't just use any regular USB hub. You need one that can deliver high energy outputs to each at the ports because these things need quite a bit of electricity in terms of USB power. To run good, it's recommended to have at least two 2.5 amps on the USB port for it to mine at a good high capacity. Of course, the more electricity you give it, the higher it can mine coins, but also it can overheat and some other stuff. But what I went ahead, I bought the Icon Mountable Aluminum 10-point USB hub. This hub is able to push 2.1 amps per port at all 10 ports at the same time. And I only be using 6 ports because that is actually the only, that's the maximum amount that fits on these because of the fan, they don't allow for so much space. But let's check out what's in here. Of course we got the USB connector to the Raspberry Pi computer when you want to connect your hub. 
then we have the power supply as you can see I mean for a USB hub it is a brick so this thing is pretty good and I also have to say I didn't find too many like this I mean on Amazon specifically this and maybe two other ones were really the only ones I found that were suited for the job but it's also not that cheap let's see what was it yeah this thing on Amazon will run you 85 bucks but basically what we're gonna do is take all those miners and just plug them in here another one another one a free row here too and then basically just have like this as a little mining rig I'm a plug in all of them and then I'll check back with you guys alright so here we have my little setup I put it in a little room in my basement and we basically just have the six miners running with the Raspberry Pi next to it everything is attached the only cables you really need is the power supply for the usb hub and then i connected the usb cable between the usb hub and the raspberry pi and then just the micro usb that you need to charge the raspberry pi and that's all you really need if i want to change something or start the mining process i just remote control into the raspberry pi which i will show you after this and now I will show you a little bit of footage with the sound on because they do can get a little bit noisy. Okay, now that we're on the computer, let's check this out. So I use VNC Viewer. BNC is a remote control application and already comes pre-installed with a Pi, so it's very easy to use. Um, on the Pi itself, the only thing I have really installed is the BFG miner, because it comes supported with the future bit 2 miners that I have, so that's pretty convenient. I'll put the repository link in the description. And the only program I have running here is my miner right now. As you can see, it's currently mining. All six are operating. And I'm currently mining with a Litecoin pool. So it doesn't really make any money at the moment. But it's also more about trying it out, getting into it and seeing what you can all do with it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's about it. It's just mining in my basement right now. And I'll update you guys if something new happens and I'll get some coins. Thanks for watching.